We're starting to see this sort of apartheid type vaccination system where, you know, if you're vaccinated, you get certain privileges. If you're unvaccinated, you're going to be denied certain privileges. We're veering dangerously close to exterminationist language. That's the next step. Putting putting the unvaccinated into someplace else, camps, whatever it may be. They imposing a caste system, a two-tiered system within our own country of American citizens, those who are vaccinated and those who aren't. Fauci wants mask apartheid in our schools. Unvaccinated children stigmatized. We have an administration that is reintroducing segregation again in this country under the guise of medical safety. Medical Jim Crow has come to America. If we still had water fountains, the unvaccinated would have separate ones. I like how Tucker Carlson threw that in there at the end with the water fountain joke, but all seriousness aside, guys, I'm sure you guys have seen. If you haven't seen, you probably know by now. Joe Biden had just released his uh, vaccine agenda moving forward, which is pretty much mandating all private businesses to basically require their patrons to either be vaccinated or uh show a negative test showing that they're not sick and guys i 100 percent agree i mean that clip that i just showed you guys was a clip from a comedy central show but uh with all seriousness guys i mean i agree 100 percent that i mean it's, it's, it's looking like they're trying to do uh, something similar to jim crow when it comes to uh this vaccinated versus the non-vaccinated you know what i mean at first, guys, you know, first of all, let me just say this. Joe Biden, his his whole, Joe Biden's entire presidency has been a failure, in my opinion. Okay, guys? And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who voted for Joe Biden. You know who that is. But I'm sure a lot of people have voted for Joe Biden. And they're having buyer's remorse, okay? He lied to the blacks. He lied to the Asians. He lied to all the anti-police sympathizers. He pushed all the anti-police rhetoric. You know, he had the media on his side and they shoved him in the office. And guys, they, in my opinion, after listening to Joe Biden's speech today, they shoved a communist in the White House. This man is trying to do everything he can to force as many people to take the vaccine. He's trying to push the legislature to incentivize businesses to go ahead and have a vaccine mandate of their own as a condition of employment. You either get the vaccine or you get fired. He's doing that in the federal government as well. In the executive branch, Joe Biden said today he's mandating all federal employees, you know, the military, uh, VA, DOD, Department of Justice, CDC, all employees are gonna have to get the vaccine. And my thing is guys, you know, I know Joe Biden, he's trying to make the vaccine like the, the focal point of his whole campaign. I guarantee you in 2024, when they ask Joe Biden, what did you do for this country? He's going to be like, well, I pushed the, the vaccine. I was fighting the, the virus. You know what I mean? But when the vaccine started with Donald Trump, with Operation Warp Speed, you know, that's where it started, guys. That's who that's who really got made this possible, in my opinion. But the one thing Donald Trump did that Joe Biden is not doing is giving the people a choice. Joe Biden and the rest of his administration, the Senate and the House are trying to push laws to make it as uncomfortable as possible for the unvaccinated, who for all intents and purposes may be unvaccinated for a, a large variety of reasons, okay? But you have a tyrant in office that's trying to force you to do something that you don't wanna do. They're trying to uh, force students to get the shot if they don't get the shot, then they can't come to school, a public school. You, and you, you know, you have these liberals, I'm assuming, that are in, uh, that are getting voted, voted into these positions and they're pushing this or they're enforcing this regulation or this policy is what they call it. All right. But these guys want to mandate this. And I feel like the reason Joe Biden is doing all this, pushing all this le legislature real hard to try to incentivize as many people to get vaccinated as possible is because... He can't physically line people up in an assembly line like they used to do in the Holocaust and stick people with needles with the vaccine. He can't do that. But I'm sure that if he could, he would. You know what I'm saying? So this is the only alternative option. He knows people are going to want to go to basketball games. He knows people are going to want to go to work. Some people have high paying jobs. They can't afford to lose that. So they're going to cave in and get the, the, the shot. 
You know what I mean? But the whole thing is a scam to me, guys. Um, and I heard the great president, Donald Trump, on an interview on Fox. And he was talking about something very interesting to me on why it seems like the government is really enforcing and pushing uh, the shot on the public. And he was talking about Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson, all these private corporations behind the scene who are responsible for getting the vaccine out in mass to the public. You know, when it first came out, guys, the vaccine, they were saying, get the shot, get the shot. It's going to give you the protection you need. You know what I mean? Then people are getting the shot. Now they're saying come back two weeks later or two months later, whatever it is. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments section box below. You get the next shot. That'll give you additional protection because the first shot wasn't enough. Now they're talking about boosters because for whatever reason, you're not protected enough. Now we have the Delta out now. Now you need additional protection. Now you need the shot and the mask. You still have to wear the shot and the mask now. Now you got the shot, but you still have the social distance. Now you can't, you, you can't interact with your friends. You can't interact with your family anymore. Now, and Joe Biden alluded to it in his speech earlier today, they're talking about, well, we're going to keep doing this and, and hopefully we can curb this, this virus until something else comes out. And, you know, it was ironic that he said that. Because now they're slowly introducing, or at least CNBC is, slowly introducing the Mu variant. M-U, Mu variant, Mu variant, whatever you want to call it. They're introducing that, saying that it's in Colombia. But I guarantee you, the Mu is going to find its way over to America. And when that happens, they're going to do this all over again. Because some people, they don't, they don't want this to end. You know what I mean? These companies, Pfizer, coming out with the booster and everything, the government's paying for that. They're making big bankroll. Millions, but I, I, would, I would go as far as to say billions of dollars. You know what I mean? They're going to say that this next variant is, is eluding the vaccination, uh, the vaccinated people. The vaccine that we had already isn't working. You guys need to take this now. You see the game that they're playing? It's just a big circle, which is fine to me because you can believe whatever you want to believe, guys. If you feel like the shot works, I'm not telling you to not get the shot. And just for YouTube, when they review this video, if you want any information regarding the vaccine, you need to go refer to the CDC website um, to get all that information. But what I'm saying, guys, is there should be a choice. I don't believe that they should force this shot uh, on the public the way they're doing. Hey man, where's your vaccination card at? What are you doing in this restaurant? You don't have your vaccination card. You don't have your vaccination card? Show me your negative test. You know what I mean? Is the virus, the icky, icky, gooey, gooey illness, is it really that deadly, guys? Is, is it really to the, is, is it really bringing this country to the point where we have to implement all these laws to stigmatize one group of people because they believe a certain way whether they don't want to get it or not you know and it's not really about a political alignment guys there's people on the right and on the left who don't want to get the shot you know what i mean but it's come to the point where now it's the vaxxed versus the unvaxxed you know what i mean and that can include family members turning on it turning against each other you know what i mean and i'm a, I'm a witness to that in my own life Turn on each other because one doesn't want to get the vax, the other one wants the family member to get the vax or whatever. They're listening to mainstream media, mainstream media is uh, fear mongering. They're pushing some of the most horrible stories, all right, basically saying that people are on their deathbed crying out for the shot, but it's too late, you know what I mean? All these, you know, these dreadful uh, sorrow stories to try to scare people into getting the shot. And it's, unfortunately, some people fall for that and they don't think outside the box, guys. Um, it's just, it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate to see. Once again, I wasn't impressed with Joe Biden's speech. And I'm going to wrap this video up with this, guys. I don't want this video to be too long or drawn out or boring for you guys. But I'm going to say this, guys. They're the same way that the left is pushing mass discrimination, they're pushing this vaccination discrimination. All right. And I wouldn't be surprised how far this goes. We have three more years of Joe Biden before the next election comes up. We have, I think, one more year before the Senate and the House uh, has their elections. But, I mean, I just don't like the way this is going, guys. I mean, this, if you can get the... I never, never have I seen, you know, with all the viruses that have come out, the flu shot, the HIV pandemic, 
You've never seen this before. You've never seen private corporations take all these extra precautions to try to force people uh, uh, to, 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 to go get an experimental shot. You've never seen the FDA rush out, okay, rush out with a, with a, a quick approval uh, of, a, of a shot for political expediency, in my opinion. All right, you've never seen that before. There's so much effort being put into getting people, as many people, vaccinated as possible. And I don't understand why, guys. Once again, I'm not telling people to not get the vaccina vaccination. I'm saying people should have a choice. People should get educated. They should go to the cdc.gov website. They should learn as much as they can about the virus, learn as much as they can about the shot, and make a, a decision for, the, for themselves. But how does it feel to have somebody that you've never met, that you've seen on TV, that doesn't know who you are, basically making that decision for you? You know? Saying, hey, you're gonna have to get the shot if you want if you want to go enjoy life. You want to go to the movie theater. You want to go uh, uh, to a baseball game. You want to go shop for groceries. You need to make sure you have this shot. Which I doubt, and I will wrap this up with this final point that this uh, uh, agenda that Biden has will get pushed at the state level, especially with the red states, maybe the blue states like Oregon, New York, uh, Illinois. Uh, uh, what else? Maine. You know what I'm saying? New Hampshire. They might do that out there. Maybe they. Maybe they'll enforce Biden's agenda. But I doubt in places like Texas, Georgia, Florida. I don't know. Georgia. They might be turning blue. Florida, Louisiana, Alabama. I doubt that they're going to be pushing this agenda at the state level. But we'll just have to see, guys. That's all I got for you guys. That's just my two cents. I could be wrong about this. I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more content.